in every way we treat preferentially our local artists. Um, it's why we're sovereign. It's why a Canadian record company exists, to nurture and develop its... I'm Canadian, and all of the executives in our company are Canadian. Um, and uh, our whole company, staff-wise, is. Mm -hmm. And and so there's a certain sense of pride and accomplishment and nurturing that goes with finding an artist in any country. But certainly when you live in a country as finite as Canada with 31 million people, it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to, to, de to develop when you only have a 31 million uh, person audience the size of California. Um, it can be a very finite experience. So there's two things we do. We give disproportional love, but you can appreciate financially. We understand the finite nature of, of the marketplace of Canada. Um, and I think, you know, we spend disproportionately as well financially to help and nurture and break mm -hmm. Canadian artists. Um, not that we don't prioritize international artists, because we also very much do. But we have the advantage of international artists to having incoming media and marketing from, from our big brother to the south. So we know who the heck, you know, Black Eyed Peas is when they come. Mm -hmm. You know, there's already an aura around that band as opposed to no one that no one's ever heard of, which as you know, takes more time, energy and money, especially at the inception and beginning of an artist's career. So it's very much, uh, the word I mentioned earlier, the artist process and our preferential treatment of same is very much the parent in me, it's very much the parent in our company, and it's very much the true joy that we receive in coming to work every day. You know, and if you don't have that, 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 then, then this is not the place to be, because that's what this is about. When you talk about Canadian artists, I mentioned earlier that the artists internationally we perform are the ones that pay most attention to us. So there's a certain Canadian behavior that wants our own to win, whether it's hockey, whether it's Olympics, whether it's music. There's absolutely a patriotism here because we know, given our population base, that we're the underdog. So there's absolutely, we sing from the rooftops that our artists that are Canadian are in fact Canadian. And we wear flags in our lapels, so to speak, when we travel internationally, which is part of the answer because one of the things that we do at Universal Music Canada strategically to help our Canadian artists is by being honest with them and recognizing there's only 31 million people to be your audience. We work very diligently and very hard to partner with universal companies around the world to make sure that there is love in the room in other territories for Canadian artists because really we are ambassadors to our own music in Canada is the way I look at it. So for example, I'll take Molly Johnson who's an adult artist, sort of a Nora Jones vibe, you know, we went to France in February and showcased her uh, for Universal Music France, and we are signing Molly Johnson, you know, jointly with Universal Music France and Universal Music Canada. Why? There's 68 million people in France. Now our audience is 100 million. It's 68 and 31. So now we have a wonderful artist. We have both financial and emotional participation from Universal Music France. We've got 100 million people to talk to. Beats 30. You know, a band from Montreal called Mobile. Uh, we fell in love with this band. We just put it in the top ten in Canada, and we called Martin Kersenbaum and Jimmy Iovine from Interscope, and they came to Toronto, saw this band, loved it, loved the band, and then we did a joint signing between Universal Music Canada and Interscope LA. So now, when we're in Interscope Los Angeles talking about this artist Mobile, this band Mobile, there's not only a recognition it's not just Randy from Canada talking about the artist. There's also a sense of emotional and financial ownership for that artist. So Interscope being a very powerful company within Universal Music Group worldwide is a powerful broker for us to broker the band Mobile, not only in the United States, but in the rest of the world. 